Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. Uh, I'm Ran, as usual. There's the horror cat, Mia, just kind of chilling there. I'm going to be talking about Dead Dudes in the House, as suggested by Johnny Coins. Thank you so much, sir. Unfortunately, this movie was suggested as a midweek movie review with the groom, and upon watching the trailer, he kind of tapped out and was like, this is, I'm not watching this. This is not going to happen. So... I, of course, saw Troma pop up right in the trailer, and I'm 100% in. So the movie does open up with, uh, it's in the 40s, and it's pretty much a girl sitting on the couch, an old woman pacing back and forth with a knife, camera pans out, and there is a guy laying there stabbed up. And then the record goes, and we hit to, like, 40 years later. 40 years later, there's two cars pulling up full of kids that are getting ready to remodel this old house, which we then kind of, you know, gather that's the same house, even though they didn't show the outside of the house in the first scene. But anyways, they're all there to redo this house. They all bitch about it for a minute and then go in. In the midst of remodeling the house, they discover said creepy old woman just hanging out, staring in a corner. They think that they get her to leave, and suddenly they can't open any doors, any windows. They are trapped inside. Mysteriously, one by one, these kids are just wandering around the house and then get picked off in very interesting ways. And I'll kind of leave it there. So, my likes with this movie. It's trauma. Trauma has my heart. I love trauma. I felt like... The gore seemed pretty good. I'll go into that in my dislikes. And I mean, I, I guess it was shot decently. Now I'll go into my dislikes. I'm not fully sighted right now. And I had a really hard time following any of the action in the movie. I understand it's in a house that's dark. But everything was so dark and so grainy, which could just be the, you know, the film from the time. Maybe it wasn't restored in the version I saw. I had to infer movement. I had to infer what was happening based on what the characters were saying. I honestly don't know if this would be easier for a sighted person to see. Because the groom wouldn't watch it with me. And that's fine. But I just... I feel like I would have enjoyed it more had it been clearer or had, you know, they can do night shots that are like very visible that aren't super grainy and everything's the same shade of dark. It can be done, but I also understand this is a low budget trauma movie. Another dislike of mine was the pacing. It seems like there was a large amount of time between each kill, which made it feel kind of tedious and then when it would get to the kill again because I couldn't see it clearly I felt like unsatisfied like oh okay another dislike they don't really go into like obviously people are dying and then they're coming back because there's dead dudes in the house but they don't really explain why ever or what certain motivations were like the woman killing that man in the first scene, really, other than her being kind of batshit, why is she doing it? Why is she back again? It's, I don't know. It left a lot to be desired, I suppose. So, I found this movie on Amazon Prime Video. I will put in the description box down below the director, the release year, where else you can find it. I give this, like, I don't know, a 1.5 to 2 out of 5. Just because I think I'd give it the two if I could actually see it. I do plan on watching this after my eye surgery again just to see if I can differentiate a lot more in the scenes having full sight. Or if it's like, honestly, the way I can see things right now, it's like looking through wax paper. So it's hard. If it's up close, if it's farther away, it's better because this eye still works pretty well. But... It was frustrating. So, there you go. I mean, check it out. Give it a shot. Why not? 
If you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you like the video. Leave a comment with your thoughts. Have you seen this movie? What are your thoughts on trauma movies in general? Because I freaking love them. I just, they have that feel to them that you're like, oh, this is trauma. Home. So good. Um, like the video I said already, hit the bell for all notifications of my further uploads and live streams. You can also find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews and Instagram and Twitter at Reanimator. And I guess check your house to make sure there's no dead dudes.